Thank you, Jeff. And Congressman Brian Higgins is asking the federal government to get involved now. The Western New York representative wants the EPA to investigate. Meantime, Niagara County lawmakers are demanding board resignations and a criminal probe. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan continues our team coverage. Their incompetence, their mismanagement, irresponsible, reckless, Damaging. The Niagara Falls Water Board under fire from Niagara County legislators. A recent discharge of wastewater turning portions of the lower Niagara River inky black Saturday afternoon has the board at the center of several investigations. This is not only a black eye for the city of Niagara Falls, but this incident directly negatively impacts the entire Buffalo Niagara region. These lawmakers are now calling for all members of the board and top management to resign. They are also asking for the Niagara County DA and the state attorney general to launch criminal probes. This situation needs to be investigated fully. Our residents deserve to know how this happened, why this happened, and exactly what this disgusting discharge was. Releasing water that smelled like sewage to the base of the falls was never normal in any procedure. The legislature does not have the authority to remove any members from the board or direct these offices to open investigations, but the state DEC and Niagara Falls Police are both investigating the incident. And if that's normal, it needs to change, along with the individuals making the decisions on this board. Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister saying in a statement today, now is not the time for politics. He's urging lawmakers to withhold judgment until the investigations are complete. Keith. All right. Thanks, Josh. Now